All right. I guess I didn't know we were French. I'll save my telekinetic. Yeah, okay, pal. I've heard that enough. Certainly not the stuff heroes are made of. That much is clear. Um. I guess I'll pull the lever, crunk. Or yeah, there we go. Taking that flag. Bit of a. Well, not not a red flag so much as a white flag, but whatever. You know. To the elevator. You know, let's see what the lifeboat's all about, huh? What a beauty! Yeah. Strong, sturdy, and apart from a few bruises, in an overall excellent condition. Oh yes. Wow. The reflections in windows are great. Oh. You weren't even actually analyzing the lifeboat. I see. Great. Well, hey, at least we got the elevator working, huh? For now. Is there even a point to the oil tank? If the elevator works, then there's well. Anyways. Hmm. Boy, what the? It's Cletus. Maybe. I think. I don't know. It looks kind of like. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. And you're sure that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiancé here? <gasps> Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why, that lousy... I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Joint venture? After everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need codes to return to Elysium. And unfortunately, those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no ascension codes. Oh, ascension no. Codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that your companion is... Shush. There he comes. Here I come. And he's both oh. Report. There's still no Bailiff? Napoleon, Prime Controller, uh, sir. But what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. Even through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time Yeesh. to put our plan into action. Yes, as you will, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. Hmm. Well, the faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better stay in the background. We can't risk that rat bailing out on us before we have the ascension codes. Well, jeez. Good thing he doesn't have any peripheral vision, huh? That Cletus guy. He looks just like me. Maybe not as What the heck? As me, but how can that Intriguing. Be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but they're certainly up to no good, and I can never allow Gold to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Should Am I now? Him if he tries to deceive me. Or perhaps I have this nice white looking robe right here. Or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I don't actually have a nice white. If I'm putting anything at all on the flag, it'll be my logo. Five burning firecrackers with a zombie in the middle. I didn't need to hear that. This is certainly not the stuff heroes. <laughs> if anything, it kind of resembles Cletus's romper suit. My thoughts exactly. Can I put it on? Huh? I can't get any closer. The order yeah, I didn't see. I didn't want you to, dude. Anyways, whatever. Fine then. I'm going to beat the heck out of Cletus. That's the plan. Yep. That is in fact the plan. Just beat the heck out of him. Uh, so what now, huh? Whoa, Cletus. I've never seen you before. How's it going, pal? Huh? Cletus, Rufus, finally I face you. Wrong. It's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Gold? Up to the left. She's safe. 
Well, that's just perfect. Genius. Yeah. No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring gold to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No goal, no deal. So what Well, I suppose I'll have to go get her then. Hmm? So the deal is on? So, the deal is still on? Only if you keep your side of the bargain, and you, yours. Ladies first. Grr. Grr. Sheesh. Why should I Why trust you, huh? I trust you? Why should I trust you? I asked first. He honestly does have a bit of a point. <laughs> I asked first. Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. As a matter of fact, you're you wrong. Wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. Oh yeah? Well, you're even much, much uglier. Hey, yes. Have you looked in a mirror lately? I feel like I'm looking in one now. That's Sheesh. That's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. Hmm. Stop repeating everything I say. Stop repeating everything I say. Only if you stop repeating everything I say. But you're the one who's repeating everything I say. No, it's you. No, it's you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeesh. What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom, boom. <laughs> well, why shouldn't I just boom, tell you? <laughs> the whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast. Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? Yes. Uh, what will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, scientifically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Oh, interesting. Scientifically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the what the heck? was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, rumors started to appear. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And Intriguing. Now, who this inspector is? Uh, I am, you troglodyte. I see. Oh, one thing that I don't understand. Besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose custom Yeesh. duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses has <laughs> reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up, right? Hmm. No, wrong. Eunice's explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. So is Elysium like I mean, some like space <laughs> base or whatever? Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but. Hmm. No one hates more Deponia more than I do. Seems a bit over the top, you know. That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. The whole it's planet? Really looker. It's not really a place for someone like me, but I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots. Who yeah, exactly. Recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to make cabbages, but blow it up. Yes, blow it up. Demolish. Cremate. Eradicate. Just like that. Hmm. I don't care at all, but Goal won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Goal has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Goal's personality. Interesting. Goal's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories. Wacky. Because she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants. She will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! But it's sparkling. <laughs> I think I've missed something, I think I've here. missed something here. But you haven't missed that Deponia is about to be blown up, have you? 
Yeah, yeah. Boom, and so on. And that I have to inspect Teponia on orders from Elysium. To examine rumors about life on the surface. Yes, got that too. And will I tell them the truth? No, you'll keep your mouth shut about life on Deponia, so that Deponia will get blown up anyway. Ho oh, ho, bravo, you really did understand everything. Oh, great. Yes. Oh boy, am I good. I'm so incredibly good. <laughs> oh. Huh, well, I'll Why never let that, that happen. Well, in that case, we don't have a deal. Too bad. You would have liked life in Elysium. Let me just quickly contact the Organon, so that they can... No, 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 wait a minute. I wasn't finished yet. I'll never let that happen is something that somebody somewhat attached to Deponia would say. Exactly. Uh, on the other hand, uh... Would absolutely let that happen. All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh, yes. How much do you hate Deponia? A lot. I deserve better. I deserve better. That I highly doubt. What? There are only there idiots. Are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. Oh, thanks, Cletus. You're great. There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. Sheesh, pal. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? <laughs> yes, okay. Let's just say I hate just this place. I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The Yeesh. wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls. The whole Yeesh. planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk you want me to get my ass into gear you can wash my ass disappear i'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds what can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town the job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want count me out you hear me wow. dad count me out and you know something else I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when Interesting. I pass you on my way to Elysium. <laughs> Look at me. Who's the filthy little litter bug now? Huh? Who's the litter bug now? Sheesh. Are you having a good okay. time there? <laughs> you really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? Uh, yeesh. Well. I'll go and fetch gold, finally. That yeah, took a lot longer than I thought it would. This guy's luggage. I bet he forgot the bolt cutter. Of course not. You never know when you have to cut through a wire fence. No. Well. Hands off. Damn. That's a real shame, honestly. I wonder if I can dye the flag. Well, no point in really thinking about it right now. I think that instead of dying the flag, I'll go fetch gold. At least, that's something that I would be doing on the next episode of Deponia. For now, what, do I just, like, freaking... If I'm putting anything in a five... I just want... With this mop, the flag would look like Cletus from behind. But yeah. there's still something missing. A hat? Hmm. No. Besides... The hairdo isn't greasy enough. What's missing, huh? What are you talking about? A glowing phosphor cotton candy. Maybe this could sweeten my task, but more likely it'll just make it stickier. Hum. Maybe this could sweeten, but more likely it'll... Well, something else we'll find out on the next episode of Deponia. Or I could cut the fuse. I don't know. You're right. The password is Rufus. Well. Hum. One step closer and mayhem will ensue. On the next episode of Deponia, we're going to be doing a lot of interesting stuff like impersonating the Elysian and fetching gold and all that garbage. Hoo boy. Well, see you later. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll kill you. Oh, yeah, I didn't actually... Anyways. Goodbye!
Yeah, I hope for that one. I thought it was pretty funny.